Shivananda states that Soham is the mantra of the Paramahansas, Paramahansa Swamis. In other words, there's different levels of sannyasis and sadhus. And the Paramahansas are of the highest. They usually don't even wear any clothes, which means they don't have any pockets, which means they can't own anything and carry it around with them. And these, hopefully having the highest mentality, then their approach is the realization of the non-duality, not just of their nature, but of everything, because God is not separate from them. So I feel that sannyasins are more jnana oriented and they're perfect brahmacharis and perfect veganists. Mm -hmm. The question is for householders, don't we also need a more bhakti oriented sadhana? No, because most so-called bhakti is nonsense. It's just emotion. Shivananda said over and over again, devotion is not emotion. Shivananda, all right, who's being cited here. Let us ask Swami Shivananda about it. He put out a little booklet in 1937, Practice of Japa Yoga, meaning mantra, meditation, Japa based on mantra. 1937, all right? Printed for free distribution. He wrote it, he didn't write it for the West to read at all, in fact, actually, but I hope that will not be considered a reason to ignore what he says. If you are a very busy man, and if you lead a traveling life, always, okay? Now there's people say, well, I come home, the children cry, they make noise, blah, blah, may my wife nags me, or there's this and that, the neighbor has his radio on too loud, you know, you know. But he says, if you're always traveling, which means you have no house, you have no home, and you're busy, very busy man, he says. In other words, day and night, you're, you are acting, you're carrying on your business, and you're traveling for that, okay? You need not have a special room and a special time for meditation. Do soham japa and dhyana along with the breath. This is very easy. Then every moment of breath will become a prayer and meditation. Remember soham. Feel his presence everywhere. This will suffice. He's talking to a busier person than anybody, I'm sure, that's present at this satsang. And that's what he says to do. Now, if you like, from self-knowledge, Swami Shivananda, let, let's pay attention to what he has to say. His book, Self-Knowledge, do a japa japa. The prana will be absorbed in the nada. All the vritis will perish. Do soham japa and soham dhyana along with the breath. This is very easy. Remember soham. Feel his presence everywhere. This will suffice. I've never read anywhere that this book, Self-Knowledge, was printed to be read only by sadhus. Okay, now, yoga in daily life. Now that tells you he's talking about so-called ordinary people, though no yogi is ordinary. Soham dhyana is nirguna, nirakara meditation, without form. Soham means I am that. This is associated with the breath. Repeat so when you inhale and hum when you exhale. This is easy. This is known as a japa japa. Feel that you are the all-pervading pure consciousness when you think of soham. The source for this breath is Brahman or Atman. You're identical with that source and reality. Okay. Okay. All right. Continuing. Meditation on soham is nirguna meditation. Meditation on the formless Brahman. Good. 
In Kundalini Yoga, he says, with the mantra Soham, the sadhaka leads the jivatma, leads the jivatma into the heart. You do it with Soham. You unite yourself with yourself. Okay, mind its mysteries and control. Concentrate on the breath with Soham repetition. Sadhana, a big book about that thick, which is really a masterpiece. It's one of the, in fact, I think it was printed after his uh, Ma Samadhi. Soham means he am I or I am Brahman. So means he, aham means I. This is the greatest of all mantras. This is an Abeda Bodha Vakya, that is. It is beyond just the body and is the enlightened principle, the Bodhi within us, in sound form, Vakya which signifies the identity of the jiva or the individual self and Brahman or the Supreme Self. This mantra comes in the Ishavasha Upanishad, Soham Asmi, I am Soham. Recognize your own Swarupa by negating the body idea and identifying yourself with the Supreme Self. Mentally always repeat Soham. Meditate on Satchitananda, the non-dual Brahman, and you do it through Soham. Watch the breath with silent soham repetition while sitting, standing, eating, talking. This is an easy method for concentration. The soham bhava, which means the very state of consciousness indicated by soham, must become habitual. Okay, a book, Easy Steps to Yoga. Let every breath sing the song of infinity and eternity with Soham. Okay. Practical lessons in yoga. He wrote a lot of books and see what he put in a lot of books. Soham means I am he. The breath is reminding you of your identity with the supreme soul. Negate the body while repeating the mantra and identify yourself with the Atma or the supreme soul. And he's doing, you do it through Soham. Okay, fine. I'm sorry to tell you, I found this and then didn't write the name of the book, but this is from Shivananda. Sing the song of Soham. He didn't mean, da -da 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 -da, but he, he means it inwardly. Then only you can be in tune with the infinite. Then only can you hear the soundless voice of the soul and enjoy the sweet internal music of the Atma. Believe me, those who practice Soham Sadhana, they'll experience exactly what he's saying. Definitely. There's no doubt. So that's Swami Shivananda. And having lived with him, I thoroughly believe he knew what he was talking about.